In this video, I'm riding through Nicaragua into Costa Rica, and I'm going through the process of parking my bike long term in Costa Rica. I did have a little mishap on the beach in Nicaragua, but luckily the bike has good protection and nothing happened. My time in Nicaragua just flew by. I visited a few of the cigar factories in Esteli, walked the beautiful streets of Granada, and relaxed and socialized for a while in San Juan del Sur. Nicaragua is a country that has had problems in the last few years. Despite the bad press, I never felt unsafe. It's sad that such an amazing place gets such a bad media. San Juan del Sur is just a short ride away from the border with Costa Rica. The all familiar border crossing dance. The border into Costa Rica must have been the absolute worst border I passed on my entire trip. I was always told the Nicaragua border is the worst one, but it was by no means the worst one. The worst one is, was absolutely Costa Rica, not only because it's complicated and a lot of paperwork. It was 44 degrees when I crossed the border and you cannot leave your stuff anywhere. You have to keep it on you all the time. One thing worth keeping in mind if you want to do the same trip is that you need an exit flight out of Costa Rica, even if you plan on driving straight through the country. I had an exit flight anyways because I'm leaving the bike in Costa Rica for a while and flying out, but worth keeping in mind. Just a few minutes after the border into Costa Rica, I was stopped by the police. It was the first time I'm stopped on the entire trip and the first thing I did was to start rolling the camera. I never had any problems before and this was absolutely not a problem either. I remembered a trick that I was told early in the trip and that was to ask for a photo with the police officers. Uh, they were very happy, they were also motorcycle officers. We actually had a great chat with uh, my limited Spanish and their limited English. They were all nice people, they wished me well on the journey, and I continued on. I'm now on my way to the capital of Costa Rica, San Jose. I was not prepared for the length of the trip, I thought it would be a lot shorter. It took me way longer than expected. I'm really happy I installed the extra lights on the bike. It really helped riding through the jungles of Costa Rica. Because for some reason the GPS sent me into the smallest roads. A review of the Baja Squadron Pro lights will be coming up in a future video. There's two reasons I went to San Jose. One was to park my bike and the other one was to meet up with my girlfriend. Sadly, for the first week I was pretty sick. I stayed in my Airbnb almost the entire time and I didn't have time to explore the city except for when I went to the hospital. I need to check that I didn't have Zika or some other dangerous sickness that I would bring home. Here I'm getting ready to head off to the storage place. So it's the last trip with the bike. The last trip with the bike was of course a bit emotional. It's always hard to leave the bike behind. Leaving your bike in Costa Rica is really simple. All you have to do is find an approved storage place. Go there, leave your bike. You'll get a few papers that you later have to take to the customs to get signed. And the customs will also suspend your import permit for your vehicle. And after that, you can be gone for a full year. But remember, you have to be back within that year. Otherwise, the government will seize your vehicle. There's a link to the guide I used for leaving my bike in the description below. You can also check out iOverlander, there is a lot of good information there. 
the hardest part is just waiting around. It takes quite a while. It took me uh, almost a full day to do this, even though the actual time of signing papers was only a few minutes. It's just waiting for stuff. People are slow. People have no hurry in Costa Rica. I'll see when I pick my bike up if I did everything correctly. I should have done everything correctly for what I know. After I left my bike, I had a good time in Costa Rica. And it was time to get rid of some stuff. I got rid of my boots, I bought them in 2010, so it was about time. When I go to Costa Rica to pick up the bike, I'm gonna have new gear anyways. One big advantage of taking a break in the middle of the trip is that I can use what I learned and pack accordingly when I go back to the bike. I'll bring you through the process of packing for the next stage of the trip. Until next time, keep your adventure going.